Good morning, folks. Beautiful Saturday morning here in Alabama, and it's been a while since I have made a video and posted to uh, Farmer Brown's Paradise on YouTube. So I thought I would put together a video series of uh, clips of everything that we're doing today. Some of you have asked about updates um, on our son that is the pastor and his wife that moved here. They're doing great and they're very excited because today they have, uh, they're in Georgia. They left yesterday. They're renting a U-Haul, gathering all their belongings and driving, loading and driving all the way here, back here today. So it'll be a long day for them. And then tomorrow we're going to help them move. They have found a darling little duplex. So things are really coming together for them and they need it. They've had a lot of bad breaks uh, the last few months. So, one of the things that they do not have in the way of furniture is a headboard for their bed, their queen size bed. And in this duplex, in the, in the master bedroom, really it's kind of a, it's a good size room, but it's longer than it is wide. So the only place to put the bed is in front of a set of double windows. And that's not gonna work real well uh, with your pillows and everything else, plus the uh, faux wood blinds that they have in this little rental house uh, One of them wasn't installed very well, and if you move it at all it comes crashing down on your head, so <laughs> We're gonna build them a headboard and of course I drew out the plan sketched them got all the dimensions for Randy, so it should be easy We'll see in addition to that I had a bright idea because I have this little table, low table in the basement that has two drawers, you know, like wicker on the front kind of drawers. Well, it's, it's low, but if I add a three inch piece of foam to the top, it's the perfect height for a bench. So I am making them, turning that into a boudoir bench for the foot of their bed because they need the extra storage and plus it's just something I want to do. Well, this is the little table I was telling you about that I'm turning into the boudoir bench. I bought some three inch foam yesterday, but I didn't have enough. But because I guess I'm kind of a hoarder like my mother, I had saved some four inch foam uh gosh from when we built the house and i did um i made cushions for our dining room built-in seating so i cut cut it down and glued it all together with some spray foam so now i have my my foam base the kids bedding the comforter is white and uh, their accent colors are navy blue. So, I found this nice woven navy blue fabric and some white that's really nice and soft. It's really soft. Anyway, um, I cut a bunch of strips on the bias for cording. You always want your uh, anytime you're doing cording, it's a lot easier if you cut your material on the bias so that it has a little stretch to it. So now I've got to sew six yards of cording. Better get going. All right, well, as usual in my video clips, somewhere, somehow, I end up uh, recording without the mic turned on. So here I am explaining and showing my diagrams of my drawings with all the directions for Randy to build the headboard. Oh, and I also was explaining about a surprise that Randy brought, he bought and brought for us, and he got it half price. It only has 65 hours on it. It was on a job site uh, that he was on in Columbus, Georgia last year. So, pretty good deal. And, filling in, filling in, filling in. I don't know what I'm saying. 
Here it is. And we named it. The Great Pumpkin. Charlie Brown. Okay, so what he's doing right now is he's cutting three two by fours, 60 inches long. Uh, these are gonna be the supports for the, the main support for the headboard. I measured our headboard and it's actually an iron headboard that comes up and then swoops down, but 60 inches is the uppermost point on our sides and I like tall headboards, so it'll look, it look real good. Now he has this OSB that he, that's great, didn't have to buy it. Um, because it's pretty thin, we're gonna cut two of them and I guess glue them together or something. Uh, they need to be 60 inches wide by 35 inches tall. It looks like he's going to cut through both of them at the same time. And of course, we always have to have the supervisor nearby, Charlie Brown. We have another supervisor too. Little Lucy. Yeah, you heard your name. And the plywood needs to be the same. I mean, well, no, it's got to run up and down. But it needs to be. Exactly Solid match that. Yes. So, thirty by thirty-five, two pieces. About sixty by thirty-five. Because no, you're not listening. That B board runs sideways. That's not going to look right. It must run up and down. So you've got to cut two pieces, thirty by thirty-five, and we're going to put a rail in the middle to where the. You didn't read the directions. Tell them I didn't read the Next step is to glue the pieces together in the shape of a nail. So the L's, you got your full face right here. So it's going to go on the front. Well, that won't show. Like that. Additional piece of two by four here, and the reason being, not only does it help uh, to have something to nail this L shape to, 
But eventually, once we put it in place with the bed frame and line it up, you know, how you attach a bed frame to a headboard with bolts, uh, if this weren't here, it would only go through this and it'd be really hard to attach a bolt through. So now we can attach a long bolt build. It's gonna go through this, this, and this to the back and it is not gonna go anywhere. All right, next step is to measure, I think they're called the styles. So we need to measure from here to here. Put one at the bottom and at the top. And again, we're gonna use the number two, one by four pine. Okay, now we're adding a rail in the center so that uh, it will cover up the splice on the, where the two pieces of beadboard meet. Adding some decorative trim now to the to the top. All right, so now we're we're putting on a one by six at the top. Uh, we could have used a one by eight to make it a little bit more massive looking, but I think this looks good. Headboard's constructed. Now we just have to paint it. Okay, well I am leaving him to the painting part. So I am back downstairs. I have made the, why can't I think of what this is called? The cording. And now I'm pinning it to each section, the top and the bottom section. THU! I'm getting tired, y'all. Okay, well it's primed and has one coat of paint. Randy wants to put another coat on it in the morning. And I finished my, <sighs> gosh, what's this called? <laughs> I can't even think. The foam. Oh gosh, y'all. The seat cushion. For the top of this, Randy's painted it. It needs another coat too, and I still have to hand paint around the drawers. Our tired is tired, but I've got dinner ready to stick in the oven. Kids are supposed to be here about eight. Long day for all of us. looks fantastical in place. Mama says bye and have a baby. <laughs>